Let's continue. In object mode, select the head LOD2 mesh and hide unselected. Go to edit mode and merge vertices by distance. Activate face orientation. Select the area around the eye and hide unselected. Select triangles in checker pattern. Now convert the selected trees to quads. Continue selecting and converting trees to quads. Let's quadrify the remaining trees step by step. I've quadrified this whole area, but to be honest, about this much is enough. Let's reveal hidden. As you can see, I also quadrified the area around the right eye. Let's unhide the rig and the eyes. Activate material preview and turn off face orientation. In front view, let's hide face controllers, leaving only primary. Go to pose mode, select the eyelid controllers, expand the timeline editor, go to first frame and insert a location key. Go to 10th frame, select the lower eyelid controllers, move them a little bit up in Z axis and insert a location key. Go to 20th frame, select the upper eyelid controllers, move them down in Z axis until eyes are fully closed and insert a location key. Show deformation bones. Go to first frame, select these bones and hide unselected. Select the head mesh. In object mode, go to 10th frame, select the annotation tool, then make sure surface annotation is turned on and draw temporary guidelines on the lower eyelid. Select the bones, then the head mesh, then go to weight paint. Let's go to edit mode. Select upper eyelid quads. Hide unselected. Go back to weight paint mode. Activate wireframe preview, reduce strength and go to frame 20. Select the middle bone and start painting the corner of the eye. If painting went wrong, let's set the weight to zero and paint over the problem area. Now let's select the upper bones and paint down here to align the mesh with the guidelines we drew earlier. Keep selecting the brow bones and painting under the eyelid to level it with the guideline. Let's hide the left eye. Select this middle bone and paint the corner of the eye. Let's even up the loops. Let's reduce the radius so that it is easier to work with each individual vertex. Set the weight to zero. Paint vertices one by one to make arcs less wiggly. Continue switching between the bones and keep painting vertices, increasing and decreasing weight as needed. This section would be a real pain in the butt if we didn't quadrify those triangles. Let me work more on this corner of the eye. Ok, now let's fix the lower eyelid. Go to edit mode, reveal hidden, select lower eyelid polygons, hide unselected. Go to object mode, select the bones, and go to pause mode. Reveal all. Go to first frame. Select lower eyelid bones and hide unselected. Once again go to object mode. Shift select the head mesh and go to weight paint mode. Go to frame number 10. Select the far middle bone and start painting the corner of the eye. Let's delete the guideline. We don't need it anymore. Let's see what we've done so far. Select the bones and go to pose mode. Hide deformation bones. Reveal controllers. 
Select the upper eyelid controller and drag the key from frame 20 to 10. Much better. Unfortunately, the faces of metahumans are not perfectly symmetrical, so we need to do the same procedure with the right eye as well. Okay, the right eye is also ready. Let's continue. In object mode, unhide tear lines and eyelashes. Select both and pattern them to the rig with empty groups. Now select the head, then the tear lines. Go to weight paint mode, then transfer weights. For source layers, choose by name. Ok, the tear lines are working correctly. Now go to object mode, select the head, then eyelashes, then go to weight paint mode. Again transfer weights. It remembers the last settings. Go to frame number 10. We have a little problem here. Switch to object mode, find and then remove all vertex groups that contain brow in their name. Problem solved. Now let's select the head, then the hair. Once more go to weight paint mode, then transfer weights. Now let's pay attention to the teeth and the tongue. In pause mode, select and move the teeth controllers to some extreme location. Here the teeth bones are influencing the head mesh. Select the head, find and remove vertex groups that contain teeth in their name. Hide the head mesh and show the tongue mesh. Here the teeth bones are affecting the tongue mesh as well. You know what to do. Reset location. In pause mode, try moving the tongue to some exaggerated location. Apparently there is a problem with weights on some vertices. Let's move the controller to an extreme position and insert a location key. Go to frame 20, then move the tongue controller to a different position and also insert a location key. Show the deformation bones, reveal all, then select the tongue bones and hide unselected. Go to object mode, shift select the tongue mesh and switch to weight paint mode. Let me hide these objects. In edit mode, select all and merge by distance. Ok, back to weight paint mode. Select the middle bone and start to paint. While painting, go back and forth between the inserted keyframes. Let's delete these keyframes. Reset location. Finally, let's talk about the highest quality mesh. If we transfer the weights from the head LOD2 mesh onto it, the weights will work, but not perfectly. We still have to do a lot of manual work, and the result leaves much to be desired. So, in my humble opinion, we'd better use subdesurface modifier on the low poly mesh. Ok, the metahuman face is ready to animate. See you in another tutorial.